So in the U.S., there are six times more private than public companies with a hundred million plus dollars in revenue. And to be able to bring one of the most exciting asset classes on a digital platform, I think is extremely exciting. So I think it's great that we're, we're, you know, crashing it with innovation and, you know, fast paced movement and being able to drive that in my role has been a real pleasure. Just, just. For the people who don't know, what does is, what is Moonfair do? What are you all about? So Moonfair is a leading digital platform and we enable investors to get access to leading private equity funds at much smaller minimums than they would normally see. So um, private equity is a very kind of closed space. You know, there's a big wall around it and not many people can get into it. So is that your audience? Is that who you're talking to? Correct. So that's right. So typically private equity as an asset class has only been available to kind of the creme de la creme of family offices or larger institutions that were able to kind of build portfolios at 10 million cuts. So they would invest in each fund at 10 million. And what we've done is we've brought that down tremendously in terms of minimum tickets. So at Moonfair, you can get access as low as kind of 50,000 per fund. So we really open the door to a huge new client segment. So you're really changing the landscape for, for, for smaller investors and private investors in a way that they just haven't been able to get access before. Okay, so hang on a minute. I would end up investing in the wrong thing. So how do you make sure that I don't go off like a loose cannon? Exactly. So at Moonfair, we're not a marketplace, right? We're a highly curated platform, right? So we look at about 500 funds each year and end up bringing about 25 to 30 to market to make sure we bring those those top funds to our investors. So why are you guys doing this now? Why, why now? Why is this happening now and not 10 years ago or 10 years in the future? You know, I think the industry is ripe for for democratization. And so we were, I would say, one of the first out the door. You know, there are others that have come into the space. So we're not alone. But for us, you know, it's a compliment. It means we're doing something right and that others are following suit. And why are you and your team involved? I mean, as individuals, what what why why are you working here? Because it's a new company. It's a you, you know, you're breaking a lot of barriers, you're changing a lot of the rules, and that's hard. What drives you? I think the entrepreneurship is obviously very exciting, getting to create something, to change an industry, to have an actual impact. Um, Traditionally, the industry is very administrative heavy. It's a lot of PDFs that are getting sent back and forth. And to be able to bring one of the most exciting asset classes on a digital platform, I think is extremely exciting. And being able to drive that in my role has been a real pleasure. I mean, it is cool, but but talk to me, why would I even bother about private equity? Why should I care? I mean, one of the most obvious reasons is outperformance. You know, there are tons of graphs flying around that will show you that over the past five, 10, 15 years, private equity has outperformed public markets and also the opportunity set, you know, I think we underestimate how many companies in the world are still private today. I have, I will use one quote, one data point. So in the US, there are six times more private than public companies with a hundred million plus dollars in revenue. Um, So, so it's really, it's really massive. And, and, you know, you see this in the news, companies are staying private for longer. Uh, IPOs are not traditionally as open as they used to be. I mean, I think we're seeing it come back. We are also happy that it's coming back, um, yeah. but it's slowed down a lot. So, you know, wow. it's a huge space. Okay, so who, who, are your, who are your audience? Who are the people coming onto the platform? Yeah, I think traditionally what we've seen, we have a lot of people coming from the private equity industry. So a lot of people that invest with us, and they use our platform to kind of branch out and invest and diversify their portfolio outside of kind of their home base. Lots of founders, entrepreneurs who have made attractive exits, um, industrial families, um, you know, people from the finance industry. And like you said, small and mid-sized family offices that don't want to build up an in-house team, perhaps, but are looking for someone to work with that they trust to get that access to private markets. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so your your stand on stage uh, at Asset Rush, which, as you know, is is one hell of an event. Um, what what's your impression before you get there? What have you heard, and what are you expecting? I mean, I would certainly say that I've heard that it's you know a, a very fast 
pace, kind of get on stage, make your pitch. Um, very innovative. And, you know, I'm excited to see what else is happening in the space, right, from other leaders who are trying to innovate in an industry that can often be seen as quite stuffy. So I think it's great that we're, we're you know, crashing it with innovation and, you know, fast paced movement. So I'll be excited to see the others that, that go on stage. Yeah, I, I love that. Crashing it is exactly right. I mean, that is the thing about the whole event, I think, is that it is um, everybody there wants to shake things up, whether they're on stage or they're in the audience. Everybody has that same mindset. What do you think is going to be your hook? What's the thing that you want people to walk away with and remember about, about you guys? I think that private equity, private markets is an asset class that is being democratized. Um, and is an asset class that should be included in portfolios. And yeah. there, are, there are techie and fun ways to be doing it. So, It's like there's a door that has been locked for a long time and I want to see what's on the other side of it and get involved and I haven't been allowed to. And you've given me like a golden ticket and that's quite a nice, nice idea. And, and that's-, that's right. The door is open, correct. The door is yeah. open to private markets and historically it just hasn't been. 